Thank you for making a purchase at Nicholson Muir Meats. I am James Muir, self-appointed meat sommelier, and today we're gonna learn how to cook a Japanese A5 ribeye. Before we begin, I wanna talk about the importance of mise en place, which means put in its place. It basically means that we have to get everything ready and out before we begin cooking, so that halfway through the procedure, we're not looking for butter in the fridge or looking for a spoon. What we're gonna do with the steaks is heat up the pan, add a little bit of olive oil till it ripples, season the steak with salt and pepper, sear it on either side, add shallots, garlic, herbs, and we're gonna finish it with butter and we're gonna baste. I'll show you right now. Nice and hot, it's rippling. I'm gonna turn it down to medium. And then I'll add the steak. You have to hear that sizzle. We're gonna turn it down. Add some herbs, garlic, and a piece of shallot. So for a cut like this, you wanna probably sear it on either side for about four to five minutes on medium heat till it gets a nice crust. If you want, you can sear it on high heat and then put it in a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes for a medium rare to medium. I have to say that it's very important that once you get it out of the pan, that you allow it to rest for at least five minutes before slicing. 